and it's the 25th of May 2019 it's about midday uh, I'm still looking at Mars Pluto aspects and I will be through to Monday today I'm looking at the sextile and the square now Mars is your capacity to be assertive and projective forceful direct sometimes aggressive or confrontational often warlike but also heroic, brave, courageous. It's what you like down the gym, in the bedroom, digging the garden, walking the dog. It's how you use your physical energy or sometimes how your physical energy uses you. Pluto deals with the more internal dynamic of psychological urges. It brings up a lot of stuff from your own personal underworld and it can be very forceful, but not necessarily projective. In fact, it's very rarely projective. So a blend of these two can be actually very, very challenging and very dynamic. But with the sextile, the aspect of opportunity, where it puts these two planets in touch with each other when they're both in signs that are compatible with each other, it creates a, a forceful dynamic which is assertive and projective, but which is also focused and concentrated. It gives a very strong willpower. It also gives a fundamental honesty. There's a principle here that says that if you always tell the truth, then you never have to remember what you said. And when Mars sextile Pluto, as they get older, these people aspire to a more simple life. And when I say simple, I don't mean that in a derogatory way. I mean in a way that's simply just not complicated. These are very persuasive people. These are the people who will talk in ways that don't only carry the power of the voice, they also carry the power of the body. They also use body language and facial characteristic as much as metaphor and analogy. It brings a kind of steady, consistent, rolling energy that just doesn't yield and keeps going. And they have a kind of self-confidence about them, Mars Sextile Pluto, that says, well, look, I know my own strengths, I know what I can do, but I also know when to back off and when to say no. So it's actually a really nice aspect. Other people will quickly know where they stand with someone with Mars sextile Pluto because well, in English there's an acronym called WYSIWYG what you see is what you get and Mars sextile Pluto people have that this aspect brings a sense of aliveness vivacity drive and also, yeah, and a willingness to use the energy in a way that's mutually beneficial to both themselves and the people around them. Unlike the square, the square to between Mars and Pluto is one of the most challenging aspects of all in a horoscope. It is easier when it is in the mutable signs. But when it is in the fixed signs, or especially the cardinal signs, it can be very challenging indeed. It can bring a anger, rage, and even violence in ways that are out of control. It, it produces a dynamic and forceful nature and periods of semi-regular periods of struggle and um, control issues. As you get older, the capacity for anger, aggression, over the assertiveness or violence either towards others or from others towards you or even towards oneself more common than average with Mars square Pluto it manifests as you, as you get older it, it comes through more as personal strength and it makes you ultra sharp and it gives you a kind of razor edge now this can easily turn into self-destructive behavior but it can also turn into being uber effective sharp focused and efficient even if there is a somewhat ruthless quality to the nature. Mercenary is cruel and callous. But ruthless is just yes, no, black, white, no middle ground, no compromise. With Mars square Pluto, these people have real trouble in saying, no, I'm going to stop here. And if they do end up saying stop, that's when they walk away and they never look back. It does give a strong sex drive, but it doesn't also make the person that gentle. They'll either become quite raw and primal with their sexual energy, or over a period of years, they become ultra refined and sophisticated and really skilled in sexual techniques. But there is no middle ground here. There's certainly a very intense 
approach to love, sensuality and sexuality. They do come across as stronger than they mean to and they they often are accused of burning other people out and um, this can obviously bring problems for them when other people around them automatically react in self-defense ways because the Mars Pluto is being too assertive. One of my clients come up with a cracker on this. Mars square Pluto is trying to funnel, is like trying to funnel a nuclear explosion through a straw. Great line. Um, Very demanding, very passionate, very primal. Um, It can be a bit coercive. They can try and overrule other people by the sheer power of their will. Whereas much better is when the Mars Pluto individual will, will convince others that the other people want to work with them of their own free will, not because they're being coerced. Then it's teamwork. Actually, Mars Pluto people are sometimes best off working on their own because their unstoppable drive, their invulnerability, their perseverant capacity, and their unstoppable stamina does tend to burn other people out and leave other people by the wayside. And then Mars Pluto will get frustrated if working with other people when they can't keep up with them. However, whilst there's also the potential to be sharp, sophisticated and and with a lot of finesse, especially when it comes to the bedroom, there is a need to be aware of one's own capacity. So Mars when it comes to Mars Pluto when it comes to expressing physical energy at the sexual level can be dynamic, coarse, abrupt, initiatory, over quickly, or it can be sophisticated, fine tuned, accurate and specialist. And you have to ask yourself if you have Mars Pluto, would you rather be a lump hammer or would you rather be a laser? and ask your partner for the answer to that question. These people don't tolerate domination or other people trying to control them. They would rather go out on their own and be an island than than submit to other people's power. And the idea of being consumed or absorbed by other is anathema to them. Yet at the end of the day, Despite the challenge that Mars Pluto produces, it does give a firm kindness. This is a position of the spiritual warrior, uh, the ascetic, the, the, the nurturing crusader, the, the truth-seeking pilgrim. This is the aspect of this, yeah, someone who will become a black belt in a martial art and learn about not only physical self-control, but mental and spiritual self-control. The principle of loving assertiveness keeps them sane and also keeps other people on side. Um, They like it where there's no misunderstandings. One of my favorite sayings with Mars Pluto is if you always tell the truth then you never have to remember what you said. A Mars square Pluto will look at you and you might think they're going to punch you if you say yes, that you're saying something that they don't particularly like. But if it's honest and truthful, they'll just look at you and they might glare a bit and then they'll go, yeah, all right then. And then they'll go and work on themselves and they'll probably go down the gym and they'll sweat and purge and detox and eliminate and cleanse and purify. For these people, for Mars square Pluto people, similar to the Mars opposition Pluto, sweat purification, purging oneself through down the gym or in a sauna is probably the single best therapy of all. These people don't get ill. They might get ill for a couple of days, but then they just shut themselves in a dark room with with brandy and and garlic and chili and ginger and they sweat. Then they're better. They always get better fast. They don't really get ill. They might get bums, bangs, bruises, broken bones, black eyes, but they don't get ill. If you've got Mars Pluto in your chart, even stronger than Mars opposite Pluto, there's a need to use your energy all the time in a way that is consistent, steady, assertive and projective. Otherwise, you attract a lot of opposition and a lot of negative from other people. I'll deal with Mars conjunct Pluto on Monday, but tomorrow, Sunday, there's a special Sunday sermon coming up. Catch you later, world. Bye.